to show you how to sign your work quite naturally and, and permanently with what I use, which is a flexible shaft, a drill with a flexible shaft. It looks a bit like a dentist drill, but you with a hand hanging stand that you can see there to keep it up out of my way. But you can you can get you can use a Dremel. Um, I've got the recommended one underneath, and this is a flexible a flexible drive to go or a flexible shaft. They're sometimes called to go attached to your Dremel and um, that will make it easy so that you can do a nice flowing signature without having to hold a, a big implement. You can also do this with a household drill but for the same reason I wouldn't recommend because you just can't hold it and your um, signature will look very different to your normal signature. You have to have diamond drill bits to be engraving on glass. Um, I use sintered diamonds which are quite expensive but there are cheaper versions. I found a link below that will do absolutely fine for just signing work every now and again. The other thing is if you've got an adjustable speed on your uh, drill it's always best to go as fast as you can and I'll show you why later. Let's get on to the really exciting thing with all the glass now. Um, I've picked up some different varieties of glass to show you that it isn't always an equal playing field when it comes to how well your signature will show up. Before I start with the engraving, I just wanted to say that you don't have to push hard on this drill bit. It's a quite a delicate um, piece of kit and so is the glass obviously. So you just have to let the drill bit do the work and not kind of gouge your signature but rather just gently move across it. You could have a few practice runs to see how you go and how much pressure you need. With drilling or engraving you always have to have the, um, the glass wet so make sure you just dab a bit of water on before you start. I've turned the drill right down to the slowest um, setting on here because I wanted to show you what happens when you have it too slow. So just dry it off and then you're left with what is a terribly wobbly signature. So you can see that when you use the slower um, speed on the drill, the it's a little bit uh, childlike and not my, my normal signature. This is me with a wetted piece of glass doing my more normal signature at the speeded up version and that's a lot more uh, respectable in my view and a bit more like my normal signature. So if you've got a dial, turn it up to as fast as possible and you'll see that you'll get some better results. Let's have a look at some of those other glasses now. So this is um, a transparent, a, a very light colour and I don't know if you can try and guess what's going to happen but if you guess that it's really difficult to see your signature then you'd be right and the only way to be absolutely clear is to use darker glass the same can be said with opaque glasses. Here's um, a pink, a light pink glass, and you can see that it's quite hard to see my signature. And then there's a darker one here, and, and still the opaques aren't as good as the dark transparent. And I've spelt my name wrong. <laughs> How embarrassing. I'm leaving you with the best combination, the dark transparent glass and one that's actually spelt right. And I hope that was helpful for you to um, find a way of making a permanent signature on your work.